Hello, I'm Victor, a class support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today I'm going to show you how to monitor the activity of specific AWS identity and access management users, roles, and AWS access keys in your account. Let's get started. Let's begin by using AWS CloudTrail to view activities of users, roles, and access keys. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the CloudTrail Console. Then select the event history from the left side of the page. From the drop down list, select Username. Enter the username of the user in the search bar. Filter the activity logs based on the time when the event occurred by selecting either an absolute or relative time range and choose Apply. This displays events showing all the activities that the specific user carried out in the account within the time range you have selected. Note that data events such as Amazon Simple Storage Service Get Object API calls do not appear in the CloudTrail event history. Also note that CloudTrail event history shows only events that occurred within the last 90 days. You can get detailed information about each event log by selecting an event and then view event records. Here you can see more details about the user who made the API call, including details of the user ARN, the ID of the account the user logged into, their username, and also details about the event, such as event time, event source, event name, AWS region, and IP address that was used to make the API call. You can also use CloudTrail to track the event history of a specific IAM access key. While in the AWS Management Console, navigate to the CloudTrail Console. Then select Event History from the left side of the page. From the drop-down list, select AWS Access Keys. Enter the AWS Access Key into the search bar. Filter the activity logs based on the time when the event occurred by selecting either an absolute or relative time range and then choose Apply. This shows you all the API calls made with the specific access key within the time range that you selected. You can also search for the history of API actions taken by IAM users roles and access keys using Amazon CloudWatch logs. To do this, you must first configure your CloudTrail trail to send logs to Amazon CloudWatch logs. Using Amazon CloudWatch logs lets you search for API events that occurred beyond 90 days. For more information about how to configure CloudTrail to send event logs to Amazon CloudWatch logs, see the link in the video description. Next, I'm going to show you how you can use Amazon CloudWatch logs to search for history of API calls made by my IAM user. While in the AWS Management Console, navigate to the CloudWatch Console. From the left panel, select Log Groups and then choose the log group that you created to receive events from CloudTrail. Choose Search Log Groups. Enter this query in the Filter Events search bar. Then select your desired time range to search for all API events that were carried out by this IAM user within the selected time range. You can expand any of the displayed event logs to view more details. You can also perform more complex searches using a query to search for all IAM list users API calls made by a specific user.
with Amazon CloudWatch logs. You can also search for API actions taken by an IAM row by including the ARN of the row in the query. The output of this query command displays all IAM list users API calls made using this IAM row. You can also use SQL query command on Amazon Athena service to search for recorded CloudTrail API event logs for IAM users and roles. Using Athena with CloudTrail log provides a more detailed way to analyze security events in your AWS account. To use this option, you must first create an Athena table that points to the Amazon S3 bucket where your CloudTrail event logs are stored. Let's go through the steps to create an Athena table and also use SQL query syntaxes to search for event logs for IAM users and roles. While in the AWS Management Console, navigate to the CloudTrail Console. Choose Event History from the left panel. Select Create Athena Table from the top right of the page. Select the storage location of your S3 bucket from the drop-down list. The Athena table name is auto-generated from the name of your selected S3 bucket. Next, choose Create Table. The Athena table is created. You can navigate to this table by selecting the Athena table name shown here. While in Athena Console, choose Query Editor. Enter this SQL query and then select Run to generate event logs of all API calls made using this IAM row. You can also search for API activities of a specific IAM user by running this SQL query syntax in the Athena Query Editor. You can track API activities based on the AWS access key used to perform the operation using this SQL syntax. You can also modify the SQL syntax to return only details about specific fields in the event logs, such as event time, event name, event source, and source IP address fields using this SQL syntax. You can expand the table to see the full list of all the available fields that you can use in your SQL syntax to return more specific results. And now you know how to monitor the activity of specific IAM users, roles, and AWS access keys in your AWS account. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Oh,